Hey guys, it's Tracy here, aka Nana Tazzy. Oh, let me make sure we're mostly lined up here. Oh, that's gonna have to do for the moment. I thought I would share with you as I decorate, um, remember that big stack of uh, papers that tore out of the phone book? I am in the process of getting them all painted up and, and covered um, to use as uh, probably collage pieces. We can tear them up and use them as collage or um, the way it's going I may turn them into their own junk journals or add them to junk journals. I'm not sure yet. But while I was messing around with this, when I do the first layer, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, there's a tiny little uh, basket weave print that comes off of the um, tray that I'm using. Uh, it's just a, a heavy duty restaurant grade plastic tray that we got at, uh, let's see, that came from Cash and Carry for reasonably cheap. I need to get some more. They are heavy duty and this one's been through hell. But it leaves a, a slight texture behind, which is great for doing layering and, and backgrounds and whatnot. But what I did was I layered um, stencils. Once I got the first coat of paint on, I put stencils down. And let me show you this one probably. I have been layering stencils back and forth ever since. Now I know a lot of people do a similar thing with jelly plates. I don't have a jelly plate yet. Um, I hope to someday, but yeah, I can't imagine ever going to bed again if I had a jelly plate. Um, it just looks way too much fun. So I'm going to show you real quick how I do these, just in case it's something you want to add to, uh, to your repertoire if it's something you don't do already. Let's see. Like this. That's a decent one, I think. Um, and, you know, I've done it multiple layers of, and they came out pretty cool. At least I think they do. So, I'm sure I might do. I think I'm making a slight shadow with my daylight. So I will put this lamp on and see if that helps. Okay, so, I wanted to also test um, I did it originally on the phone book paper, which is reasonably thin. What I need to know is if this is a producible, a, a reproducible effect on the book papers that I've got also, because they, they vary in thicknesses. So I've got backgrounds just painted on there, and this, this one's quite thick, so we'll see if that works. But we're going to start with the thin ones first, so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, Alright, the materials I used for this. Ah, scrap paper. And, let's see. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of my paints here for the Master's Touch that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um... Yeah, I, I just grabbed a bunch of the ones that I have. Actually, this is most of them, I think. Yeah. My paint tool of choice for this particular project has been my card. Just plastic, scrapey, um, old gift cards. Uh, these ones get sent to me in the mail. Um, pharmacy savings card. But yeah, I don't use them. Um, thankfully, I don't have to do anything at the pharmacy. But this is what I'm going to use. Next, pull out your stencils and I will try several of them so you can um, see what I'm talking about and how it works. But it, essentially we're still using stencils as we should be but we're putting the paint, we're putting stencil, paper and then painting over that and um, the pressure of swiping the card helps push the paper down just slightly so the paint goes uh, leaves the shape of the stencil. So, the cool part is, other than when you slightly over paint, um, you're really not messing up your stencils. They're not getting gross and dirty and you have to clean them and all that. So, I like that. 
Let's see. Um. Yeah, let's start with that one. Okay. So, stencil. Painted paper. Pick a color that you want. Let's do pink. Why not? And I've been putting paint straight on my, my plastic card. You don't have to. Um, you could put it, you know, use another scrap of paper to just put it on there and, and run it through a couple times. Okay. Now we're not being precious. We're, we're just using this as we would like a silk screen or something. I might have to switch my card here. These are all kind of yucky. Actually, move that and get that rose at the end there. Hopefully. And we're using this just as a mark making um, See how we've got some of the uh, the rose imprint there? That's all we're doing. And we're just going to do this in layers and layers. Maybe this will help. See. I don't know. La 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 la. Oh yeah, there we go. Look. You can move it around, do it partial, do it in all different directions, it doesn't matter. See? You just want, want a hint of the stencil. Okay, let me switch stencils. Let's see then. Let's try a little butterfly stencil. I didn't try this one yet, and I want to see... I was up until 4 o'clock this morning playing with this. It was too much fun. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Let's leave that a partial. Butterflies! Does anybody else get the reading rainbow song in your head when you hear butterflies? Hmm. That's me. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to switch over. Let's see, there's a scrap piece. And the same rule supply as anything else, save the paint. Just random book or piece of paper. Um, I actually have made a book um, that I use for prompts and stuff on occasion. And um, this is actually just for catching drips and extra paint and ink and stuff now. So those will become instant backgrounds later. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Alrighty, so that's a scrap piece of paper. We don't have to worry about it too terribly. Alright, let's try this one. Sure, why not? That might be fun. <laughs> do we want blue or do we want this? What is this? Emerald green, which isn't really, that is not the green that comes to mind when you think of emerald. And this is apparently grey purple. Which isn't, it's like soft lilac, but whatever. Soft lilac. circles, because you cannot go wrong with circles. Um, see, I want this white piece here, and I'm going to do some butterflies on it. Not a lot, just some. Oop. Yeah, see? And depending on um, how hard you press and how much paint you've got, the angle that you hold your card, you can play with this considerably. Oh. Ooh, there we go. 
I haven't tried this one. This is a new one I got for my birthday, and it's adorable. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other trick I've learned since playing with this um, is hold your top paper down. Otherwise, you just wing the whole thing across the stencil because they're pretty slick. At least these ones are. Um, yeah, let's do some of that. And we're not going for perfect definition. You're going to get overpaint somewhat anyway around the stencil, which obviously because you're not putting the paint directly through the, the stencil bar. But it's still fun. It's an easy, quick way to um, get some layers built up, I think. Uh, let's see, it has my wipe off paper. To just do wipe off papers like right directly in the middle of the page and not really think about it and then it took so long to figure out what to do around the edges of it so now I try more for the mark making aspect and opportunity yeah these are getting pretty grungy Ooh, yuck But because these are acrylics, um, we can just peel those off as they dry and get a better edge on our card, hopefully. Alright, what I do want to show you, which I had the most, the, the stencil I had the most fun with. Let me break out the big book here. Butterfly was fun, but well, maybe it's one of the new ones. These are the flowers. These were a lot of fun. Uh, this is what I made myself. These ones were fun. There it is. This one just made my day. Um, and we can get fancy. Um, this one's fun too actually. Let's stick with these ones. Okay. Alrighty, let's do... Oh, stuff falling down everywhere here. Oh, it is so hot today. The air conditioner is on and it's almost, I think it's 91 in the house, which is considerably better than outside, but dear lord, it is warm. That poor swamp cooler. Okay, so this is the stencil I'm using. See? It's a big swirly cut. Um, it's by Show Offs, I guess. Uh, my daughter got me a bunch of these for my birthday. And a whole bunch of washi tape, which I have not broken into yet, but it's only a matter of time. Okay. You don't have to put paint straight on your card. You can also put it on the paper, like old uh, uh, silk screen, if you ever did silk screening. Check this out. Look at that, you guys. Like, I love doing this. This is so relaxing and so much fun at the same time. I, I don't even know. It's like your brain's just going to... You're having too much fun. Look at that. And see, you can layer, you know, let, let one layer dry, do this, go over it again until it just doesn't do anymore. 
Uh, let's check some white on this one. And let's do some white, but change that. Because we got some flowers on here, I want to see some different flowers. Maybe. Well, no, we'll just do Kitty Wampus here. Save the paint page. See how quick that collected? Pretty good. Partial imprint so we can just layer and layer and layer. Okay, who's that one? Let's see. I think I want to do gold. Maybe, yeah, let's do gold on this one. have oh look at that yeah okay save these I learned this from pink poodle crafts you save she calls these boogers paint boogers crap she calls them something but there's a big debate about what they're called um, but she saves these and then glues them down like the inside of flowers and stuff and puts a gem inside them I never in a million years would have thought to do that it is amazing so I am now saving paint boogers. So thanks Stacy over at Pink Poodle Crafts. I have a new hobby. <laughs> okay, that one made a total mess. I'm going to turn my card around. This was the edge I was using, but it's starting to get sticky and weird. So I'm going to turn around to the clean side of the card and we're gonna do some more. We're gonna pick up some paint and then we're gonna look oh we're not gonna move because that would be not cool. Oh my gosh so tasty. Yeah moving is not not the best thing you can do here. Okay so I buggered that one up. But even still as far as mark making goes look that one's messed up and it's still cool let's do that that let's do a little bit on this one let's see oh, I want it thicker. there we go nice and thick you could probably do this with a squee an actual squeegee or something. See, I made a total mess on this one. Look, I got paint all over my stencil, which is what we were trying to avoid. Oh my crap, let's just do this. Alright. while we're here let's let that dry just a second throw this one down actually we'll use a different color on that since I just put gold all over the damn thing all right let's do this one see what we get oh my oh that's adorable yes I do like it thicker, I think, even though it leaves more behind. Um, yeah, I do. But look! And you can go over again and again and again and again and do as many layers as you want to. You know? So, for layering, especially for backgrounds or... Oh my gosh, just collage pieces. You know, if you tear this up into random collage pieces, that's going to be epic. Like, seriously cool. 
I'm running out of space. This is what happened at four this morning. It's the only reason I went to bed. Well, it was half four by the time I went to bed. But, um, I had completely run out of space. Like, I had papers everywhere, all over the room, laying on the floor. Thankfully, the dogs don't get into that anymore. Look. Just delicious. Delicious. Okay, I don't think we need any more gold, which is not something I say very often. Oh, wait, yep, sure we do. Sure we do. Just kidding. Just kidding. Which actually is a term people way overuse and I really don't like. But, for real, I was just kidding. Yeah, as far as texture, because it, it feels, um, I don't even know that how you describe it. It feels, other than like painted paper, obviously, but where it is thicker, it, it's just textured. It's, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Actually, since we have this out and I have more gold, let's just, uh, one swirly bit here which totally makes sense because I'm going over the other swirly bits see even with layers of the same stamps or the same stencils and that's the other thing now once these are all dry I can go back over and um, stamp them randomly and texture or paint over them again and we're, we're good we're golden okay I need a new, I hate to use gold for a background, well for the, the first piece of background. Alrighty, let's see it in red I think, I really want to see it in red and I really want to see that one on here in the red. And this is Rose Bright Red, I have another one, I think it's Christmas Red or Brick Red, maybe Brick Red. It is dark red, though. Okay, that's way more than I need, but we're going to go with it. And load up our card at the edge here, and then just drag it across. Oh, I like it thicker. Yep, a little thicker. Oh, yes. And I seriously hope you can see that and it's not too terribly glary because daylight lamps and sunshine. Although it looked like it was going to storm about an hour ago and now it's broken up clouds that look like they're building up in the distance. So hopefully we'll get a storm. My head always feels better after a big storm, which is awesome. We're not going to panic, we're just going to move and carry on. I'm going to leave that edge so I can do something else to it later. Oh look, that one just fell off. We have a volunteer. Oh, that's delicious. Yep. bits you can move it slightly um, and get different chunks it looks very um oh how would you describe that it's very broken up it's very um hmm what's the word disorganized it's uh because your brain tells you it's the same pattern but your eye is telling you um that something's wrong with it which technically there is, because it doesn't line up. Which is a lot of fun when it comes to art pieces and making people like look twice or try and figure out what's going on there. Um, let's try, let's watch these again. 
You can do this with all of your stencils. Okay, that'll be our paint scraper wipey thing, which I really need to clean off again because they're starting to get, um, they, they make drag marks in your, your paint, which I don't care for this project, but if I wanted to be, um, if I was gluing something, I'd want to be a little more precise than what it is. Okay, what we need to test now, see, and see how quick we just did all of the, the phone book papers? We just blew through those, and actually we added one. But I need to know how it works on the different thicknesses of uh, book paper. So let's have a play and see what it does. Um, I don't want that one. I'm really digging this one. This one so far has been my favorite. And I don't know who makes the stencil. Um, there's a set of them that are all big carved swooshy swirls and things. Um, and some with like tons and tons of circles that all overlap. Um, I think. I think they're on joggles. Somebody said j something about joggles. I don't know if that's who makes them or if that's where you get them, but I don't know. Ooh, what color do we want to do these? Well, whatever color we pick, we should keep it about the same, I think. Um, I what a yellow does. Okay, which one do we want now? Lemon deep or medium. Let's try lemon. See what it does. I highly recommend experimenting. Just play. Set time aside to just play. Don't try and make anything. Oh, that's funky. I like that. Oh, and I just moved. Oh well. Let's go again. Oh, that's cool. So cool. Okay. Um, let's see what else we can add to. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. Over this bit here. No. If you have not painted with um, I don't know, plastic card, gift card, I guess credit card, I don't have credit cards so I don't know, um, if you haven't painted with one, give it a go. Um, I, oh, see I almost did that, <laughs> I almost did that the right way. Uh, um, but there's something fun about it that's It relieves stress somehow. As far as trying to get everything perfect or lined up or... I also use... No, that's not going to work for me. Let's see. There we go. I also use... We're going to leave the big gouge line in it there. Don't care. This is for backgrounds or something. I don't even know. But as far as the, the book paper goes, that one came out really good. So, we should be fine. Um, let's see. Is that the same book? Hmm, I don't think so. Oh yeah it is. There it is, never mind. Alright. That's... See, and that one's really thick paper. Like, crazy. I don't know if you'll be able to see this one because it's yellow on yellow, but if we do it thick enough, it should do something. Well, it's trying to do something. Oh, there we go. No. You have to get it on reasonably thick. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Oh, I don't even know where else to set these now. Just so much going on here. Oh, might go random. I need to get rid of my yellow
pretty. Let's try this thick paper again with, we'll use the same um, stencil. Let's see, I'm not sure what color we really want to do over that. I'm thinking the blue, the ultramarine. I could do stainless as well, but I really try not to, oh, that is way too much paint. Well, I'm going to be doing this all day, apparently, because I either have too much paint or just a couple pages left and start over. Yeah, you're going to have to do it a little thicker on thicker paper, but if you don't, you still get a cool impression here. Yep, thick is good. Oh, let's do thick there. I want to do thick there. Oh, that's too thick. Dang it, come on. And we're going to do a thick patch here. See, so yeah, even with one stencil, the same paint scheme, and not moving it around too much, you can make it do its own designs as far as mark making goes, right? Which is the whole point. I just wanted another way to do mark making. Um, and since we're here, and I need somewhere to put that one, let's see if this doesn't lighten up this corner a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I may have to show you when it's dry. I don't know how much of that you're going to be able to actually see. Let's go back over the yellow on yellow. I didn't like that so well. It's so funny. My brain always tells me move stencil, place paper, place stencil. And you don't have to do that with this. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Oh, and your brain's probably screaming because my paper's not square to the stencil. That's the point. Just slap it down randomly, higgly piggly all over the place, and go with it. Let's see. No, I think that one's fine. This one's a giant mess. Look at that. Like, no. What I want to do on that one, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, let's do us some random flowery work, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely like it thicker with the, the blue. Because this is on the... Oh, actually, it's the, the dictionary paper, but because there are several layers of paint already, that, that's why we had to do it slightly thicker on this one. You see, you can do it over each other, move the paper, do it again. Um, and it does... I don't know. It does its own thing. It's awesome. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Apologies. I'm in a very musical mood today. Um, and I'm really not digging the crafting without music on in the background. Um, of some variety. And granted, I listen to everything from opera to screamo I, music is music for the most part if you're in the right mood for it it will do the same job but there's something about crafting whilst listening to music that's just it feeds your soul and then gives your soul somewhere to play and it's good it's just good um, I wonder what black will do. Let's have a look. Probably way too much. So what I'm going to do is try and do just a little bit. Try. Well, we'll see, I guess. Alrighty. I'm going to get it evened out on the back of our card. Well, that's not quite how I was hoping that would go, but what it is doing, and I don't know if you can see it from there, but, it, oh, I moved. Tch. 
it is doing texture. So I don't know how well you can see that, but it is, it has textured it. It did still work, but the um, blue stuck to the, or the black stuck to the blue paint really well, so it's still kind of thick, even where I don't want it to be. But as far as um, mono printing, I guess, with it just the one color and texture, that works. Hmm. Intriguing. Let's do that one, maybe. I apologize if you hear a buzzing on top of the air conditioner sound. Um, my computer likes to make noise randomly. But, in all fairness, it is excessively hot and its poor little fan just keeps kicking on to try and cool it down. So, after the video that's uploading is done, I'll be shutting that down until this evening. And thankfully I'm up all night usually anymore, uh, during the course of summer anyway. Okay, I don't like that one. See, that one's just not. I mean, yeah, it's got pattern, but it, it's just not. So yeah, even when you bugger it up, doesn't matter. We're going to chuck this through with a different color and do something else. Let's try the flowers. Just to see. And because we're scraping off our cards here, it's going to be patchy. And you just get the idea of flowers, see? Which is fine with me. Alright, I think I'm almost done with this particular set. Oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Good lord. Alright, what should we put on this one? Oh, yeah, let's do flowers. Let's do flowers. Um... That's what we'll do. Hang on a minute. Hmm. Alright, this is one I did out of a file folder. Just a regular manila file folder and it's more for borders and stuff. So I'm going to use that here in a second as well. But what I want to do is get some flowers in, yeah, let's do these in the green, and that, what is it, mint green? Emerald green. See, it looks like mint, doesn't it? Well, not true mint, I guess. Oh, hey, look, a bugger just fell right off. Well, okay, now it's all out of shape because I just pulled it. At any rate, we have another one. Which I never thought I would be farming. Stacy called it farming. Farming your boogers. Because how gross does that sound? She's so funny though. Um, I will try and remember to put a link to Pink Poodle Crafts. I think it's Pink Poodle Crafts. It's Pink Poodle something or other. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link below so you can check out Stacy's channel because she, she's just awesome. I love Stacy. She cracks me up. And her live, her live feeds, her live streams are awesome. So if you can ever be a part of that, totally do. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Oh no, we want that color in here. Look, look. Do, 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 do. See, and my brain still says paper, stencil, paint. <sighs> it's fine. Um, let me do. Let me do that on the back. But what I want to do is run a string of hearts, hopefully. Hopefully, down, let's see, where do we want them? Down there, I think. And hopefully I have enough paint to do it still. So what I'm going to do is swipe it sideways first. Oh. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. And then we're going to do it at uh, an angle. Or not, because that looks like crap. There we go. I got paint on my stencil. See, it's just got little textury bits. That's some color, some texture. 
And these, look, you just do whatever you want with them now. You could paint the other side, you could, um, you know, turn them into envelopes or whatnot. You could cut these. I don't have any punches yet. I have to do all my, like, cutting up flowers and all that stuff by um, hand, which totally sucks balls. But you could use these to punch bits out and, like, build flowers and do awesome shapes and tuck spots and um, um, ephemera with these. Can you imagine um, cutting a banner or having a banner, uh, let's see, here? Cut down here like so and layer several of those on each other in different sizes. Oh my god, tasty. Tasty. Alright, let's see, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, this is the one I want. But, I don't want that color. I needed to get rid of this one. So, I need... Sure, why not? Let's do this. Sure. No, let's do it like that. didn't really give myself much space to uh, hold on to that piece of paper right there, so that's not good. Okay, that's the dots and... Actually, I had planned on doing, um... There's a scrubby page. Yay! This gets off smooth. Smooth! Okay, I don't know where I was going with that. Somewhere. Oh, the circles. Um, I had planned on cutting out smaller ones in here as well, or cutting out small ones on either side. But this isn't going to hold up if I cut out too much more of it. So I just left it. Uh, that's a little damp over there, so it's going to stick, I think. Uh, oh, what's on that one? That one's messy. Oh yeah, let's play with these two. Because they're a giant mess. And give that a minute to dry, which shouldn't take long because it's freaking warm. Hooray for summer. Which actually, I love summer, but yeah, this it's, it's the hot side of summer. Which, considering... Technically, we just hit summer here in the States. Technically. Um, yeah, I don't know how summer's going to go. Because if we're already hitting 100, um, August could be real shitty. Which is usually when it's crazy hot. Okay, and that's our swoops. We've got some swoops. Leave that one there. This one I want to do. Let's do like this matrix heart thing. Well, let's do it this way. And then we'll run some down the bottom here. Like so. And I move. Oh that's likely to happen too, just so you know. I have layers of paints on my hands, and because this is just a touch damp, um, it peeled paint off my fingers. This isn't precision artwork, so it should be fine. This is more of the, the junky, quick, knock it out, do something fun with it. <gasps> oh, dude. Okay, I have to retrieve that before I forget it's down there. Yay, it sped out the other side. I lost a piece. <laughs> lost a piece off of my desk. Like, up and over, and thankfully it sped out this way. Okay, let's be done with that. Moving on. Alright, you guys are probably bored silly, but I did want to share this with you because it is crazy fun, and I do hope you give it a go if this is something you're not familiar with already and if you do hit me up either in the comments below or on my Facebook page um, that's all in the description below 
or um, tag me on Instagram, also in the description below. But yeah, I want to see what you guys come up with because it's crazy fun and it's just really, really interesting. Depending on what layers you do, what colors you're using, what what um, you know, how how thick you you put your paint on. Um, if you know another way of doing this type of thing. Um, for now, I'm just calling it unjelly plating. Um, because I don't have a jelly plate, and in my brain, it's a similar thing, um, because you're using color and texture to make marks, and you could, while this is wet, while, while this is wet, you could still scratch or doodle or, or, um, mark, do mark making in it. When it's dry, you can go back and stamp and doodle and draw and all of that. See, so even on the black one. I might hit that up with a um, jelly roll, uh, jelly pen, the white jelly pen. I don't know. We'll see. But that's all I've got for you today. I just thought I'd share and play a little bit. So, um, yeah, let me know if you like seeing stuff like this. And I'll be happy to share more as I come up with it. Or as, as I do it, you know. Um, please remember to hit like, subscribe. Uh, ring my bell, share my videos, I'm really, really trying to grow my channel, um, I know it's going to take a while, but I absolutely love doing this, I love talking to you guys, I love the, the YouTube community, um, I love the crafting and the art community, you guys are amazing, so thank you so much for your time and stopping by and hanging out, hit me up in the comments below, and as always, happy arting, I love you.